Well, also this week marks the 50th anniversary of the Woodstock Festival. Nearly half a million people gathered together to watch some of the biggest names in rock and roll. One couple who made the trip were immortalised on the front cover of the official album. And now, 50 years on, they have returned. Tim Orman reports. August 1969. Early in the morning and a young couple embrace. This image was to become one of the defining symbols of probably the most famous music festival in history. 50 years later, Bobby and Nick Erkeline, now married, both 70 years old, relive that moment. Even if the memories are a little hazy from the first time around. Just getting up in the morning, standing up, giving my girlfriend a hug, and somebody took our picture. Um, that's what I, I don't even remember the picture being taken, honestly. Woodstock was one of the most significant cultural moments of the 1960s. A decade supposedly devoted to peace and love drawing to a close with a giant party in a muddy field. The practicalities were far from perfect, but the intention was noble. Under not the best of circumstances, Water was uh, intermittent and sketchy. Food was sold out as of Friday night. No bathroom facilities. The weather was absolutely awful. And 450,000 people gathered here, and not one incident of violence. That's pretty amazing. This world needs more Woodstock. Bobby see, and Nick have a copy of the photo oh, on their wall, a reminder of when they were young and how their love came to represent the spirit of Woodstock. Tim Allman, BBC News.